Hey, I lived in this neighborhood. When I was in sixth grade, the black started to move in. And I was the only kid at home. My brother and sister were growing up and left. Many of our neighbors were fleeing. And my parents, who had a liberal mindset, had a principle, and probably my own sake, made a conscious decision to stay. They didn't want to feel like they were running. I began hearing nigga this and nigga that from all the kids in the neighborhood. Just around the time Martin Luther King died. I remember this one kid saying, I'm glad we get a dare from school today because they killed the nigger. I didn't know from Adam. I'd had no relationship with blacks, except I was always told by my parents to never, never say that word. For the blacks, if you lived in the ghetto and got your resources together to make it out, <laughs> this was the neighborhood to go to. It's like raisin in the sun. Real estate companies took advantage. They'd scare all the homeowners who had closet or open racist feelings and exploited their fears. Your property will be worth nothing. So sell now. In a matter of two, three years, the neighborhood went from 100% white to 90% black. I became the only white kid on the block. I stayed in that neighborhood till I graduated high school. Who I am today for better or worse, I think is a result of this. I'm wise beyond my years, and in some ways I'm immature, because my whole adolescence was profoundly affected. When the neighborhood was mostly white, I got flack for being Jewish. My brother, who's 11 years older, caught it even worse. We get beaten up and harassed regularly. When the blacks moved in, I had instant allies. Those same guys who didn't like me for being Jewish. Definitely didn't like the blacks for being black. So I had instant black friends. The interesting thing was to see these kids from racist backgrounds become fearful. I learned that people tend to get scared of something that's different from themselves. You'd see the parents of these kids looking at blacks for the first time as I did. It was still new to me to just look at someone's hair, their eyes, their lips. The fascination with something different. I'm sure they did it with us. greatest fear was probably the white parents or daughters. The amazing thing is that kids hadn't learned yet to hate. In terms of sports and music, and just the friendships that were developed. It was a beautiful thing to see what could be. Some of the white kids who were last to leave became best of friends with blacks. Some were too far gone. I'm 10, 11, 12 years old, and I began assimilating into the black culture. In my mind, I was black. Oh, I knew all the jargon. <laughs> I wore the right shoes, laced the right way, the right socks the right shorts. I played basketball and I was good. I was a musician, sort of, that helped. I couldn't go into another black neighborhood and feel comfortable because there I'd be just another lone white face. But in this neighborhood, everyone knew me. I was sort of a mascot. The difficult part was, 
that I wasn't allowed to be a normal, obnoxious juvenile, which I would have been, probably should have been. As long as I was quiet and cool, I had protection because it allowed the bigger black guys to be my Don Quixote or Robin Hood. Sure, there were plenty of black kids who hated me, but there were plenty who went to bat for me too. <laughs>